Megan Betts is just electric inside the circle for Michigan. She just won her third straight Big Ten Pitcher of the Week on her. Hasn't allowed a run in 48 innings. Think about that. You're one of the main reasons Michigan is undefeated in conference play. So let's bring in last year's Big Ten Pitcher of the Year. She is Megan Betts, who joins us from Ann Arbor. Megan, how are you different this year from last year? Um, I think that I'm just confident and having fun in the circle, you know, trusting my process, staying loose, and letting my defense work behind me. So I'm not trying to do too much. You were injured uh, in the off season, and I read an article where you said you worked on your spin while you were injured. How so? Um, Biggie just came up with a lot of unique drills. Um, actually, one of my favorite ones that I still do is pitching a wiffle ball, and um, I have to make sure that the movement is perfect. And if I do anything incorrectly, the ball shows it immediately. So that's been something really cool, and I've stuck wor working with that. So, how important is spin to your game? Um, to my game in particular, it's really important. I don't throw the ball very hard, so being able to keep the hitters off balance and move the ball through the zone is—it's always been my game. Explain this to me. So in baseball, the pitchers need like five days off in between starts. In softball, you guys just go day after day. What's the deal? Um, it's just a different motion on the arm. You know, it's not as it's not as TD, or, uh, it's not as hard on your body as baseball is. So you know, we're able to throw a lot more innings, and we're able to throw pretty much every day. So what you're saying is you're stronger and tougher than professional baseball players. <laughs> No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just pretty saying sure it's different. Pretty sure you said that. Pretty <laughs> sure. We'll rewind the tape. I'm pretty sure you said that. Uh, you mentioned your head coach, uh, Hutch. She's got such a great personality. How do you describe her to people? Um, you know, she's really intense, but off the field, she's really lighthearted. Um, she knows how to keep the game fun, and she kn she's just there to make us better on and off the field. And um, she's been so important for this game and just making sure that we're making strides in the right direction. So she's been a great mentor from the first time I stepped on campus, and she'll always be someone that's been important in my life. What makes her program so successful? Um, just the coaching staff, they work really well together. You know, Biggie was an Olympian, and um, or Jen Brundage, sorry. I don't know if you guys know Biggie. <laughs> um, Bonnie was a great player for Michigan, and Hutch is obviously, you know, the winningest coach in NCAA history. So it's just they work really well together, and um, they make sure that we're doing the best that we can. What's her phrase that Hutch says all the time? Um, she's got a lot, uh, a lot of Hutchisms. I think my favorite personally is just come every day to get 1% better, and that's something that I've really taken to heart this season, and I think that the team is really starting to embrace as we're just trying to get 1% better every day. What about big picture? What are the goals for the team this year? Um, goals are pretty much all the same. Win the Big Ten and get to the Women's College World Series to compete for a national championship, so that's what we're just trying to do. Give me a, a freshman on your roster this year who impresses you. Um, Madison Uden, you know, she comes every day, works really hard. She puts really good cuts on the ball. Um, she's had a few pinch hit at bats and come up with some really good results. So she works really hard. All four of them work really hard, but she stands out to me. How were you as a freshman? How was I as a freshman? Mm -hmm. um, I was, I was timid as a freshman. I wasn't really sure what my role was. I mean, I knew I was there to eat up some innings and, you know, make a difference. But um, I think that that's something that I wasn't really sure of at the time, but looking back now, I know. Um, so, yeah. So when did you feel comfortable in Ann Arbor? Um, I started feeling really comfortable in my sophomore year, and I think the results showed with that. Um, you know, I was All-American that season, so something just that confidence came with, and, you know, I just tried to get better, and um, I really just started to embrace my role then. It's still fairly early in the season, but from what you know from the last couple months, how's this Michigan team compare to the other Michigan teams you've been on? Um, you know, no team is ever really the same, and we struggled a little bit in the beginning to find our identity, and I think that we're still working on that, but um, we're getting a lot better at just becoming a collective unit, and I think that that's something that is going to make us tougher and stronger in the end. So, What about specifically? Do you find you're a better hitting team, a better fielding team, a better pitching team than years past? Um, our defense has been outstanding this season, and I think that that's something that we've worked really hard at, um, just to keep us in the ball game at all times. You know, our defense is making really great plays behind my, me and Tara, and um, you know, our offense is just trying to get better. So we're working on that. All right. So for the next question, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a rule. All right. The rule is you cannot use the word Michigan. All right. The question okay. is which team is most likely to win the Big Ten this year? Um. 
My team. No, no, you missed, <laughs> you missed the point of the exercise. <laughs> well, you said not to use Michigan. All right, all right. Outside of your team, the Michigan Wolverines, which one is most likely to win? Um, probably Minnesota. They're yeah. having a really great year um, on, in all facets of the game. You know, they're hitting really well. Their pitching has always been really good. So um, they'll be a good, a good competition this year. Right, that, I'll accept that answer. Uh, before we go, how okay. many swings would I need before I could make contact off of you? Um, you wouldn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many you take. <laughs> what, what if you pitched 700 in a row and your arm was just tired and there was nothing left? Well, I heard about you trying to hit off Jordan Taylor, so yes. if, if we're going off that record, I don't think that you have a good chance. Well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure she was so frustrated, she quit college softball not long after that, so. Or she <laughs> expired her years in college, regardless. Megan Betza, yeah. congratulations on the great start to this year. Thanks for giving us a few minutes. Thank you.